And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat, everybody on YouTube. Uh, we're going to be doing a special thing tomorrow. We're going to be starting a champion spotlight night. That's what we're going to do for our Wednesday night streams here. Usually on, on Wednesdays, um, I stream later in the evening instead of in the morning. So some people that works out with their schedule better. So they're able to watch it later on. Um, and I only play three decks since it is at night and it does get kind of late. So I just play three decks instead of four on Wednesdays. Um, so it's something that uh, people were kind of talking about in uh, Twitch chat and everything. What people kind of would want is maybe a champion spotlight night day. So we kind of did that the other day whenever we were practicing for the seasonal tournament when we played different Sejuani decks. We played three, three different Sejuani decks and people thought that was kind of an interesting thing of showing some different, different decks with the same champion. So we're going to try that out on Wednesday night. We're going to call it Champion Spotlight Night. But of course, we need to figure out which champion that we are going to play. And so to do that, we're going to go ahead and um, do a random number generator. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that today. Um, instead of tomorrow so we can so I can figure out what champions they are so we can kind of build around that now There are 58 different champions in Legends of Terra. So to figure out which one of the 58 we're going to do we have a random number generator that I just have on my phone That's gonna be that's gonna give us a number between 1 and 58 So it says click here for the number. So let's click there number 48 so champion number 48 is gonna be our champion for tomorrow so these go one, two, three, four, and so on. So five, six, seven, eight. So we can count from here. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, and 48. It's Anivia. Okay. So Anivia is going to be our champion. That is the you know 48th champion from the mana cost here. All right. So tomorrow, Champion Spotlight will play three different Anivia decks. Okay, so that's going to be uh, pretty exciting. All right, so that's going to be our plan for tomorrow. Okay, so um, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, of course, this is going to be at the very beginning of the first video. So <laughs> stay tuned. Here's our first Anivia deck. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Anivia Spotlight Night. So this is something that we're going to be trying out on Wednesday nights here is uh, taking a, a champion and uh, having them under the spotlight and making three decks with that champion with different regions and showing off a specific champion. Now next week we probably won't do this because next week we should have new new cards, new expansion, and so that Wednesday night next week is going to be the new expansion right away. So uh, it'll be a, you know a couple of weeks before we get to our next Wednesday night spotlight night. Um, champion spotlight night but uh to determine how it was anivia we did the random number generator and you know just got a random there's 58 champions right now in runeterra got the random one and it was anivia so we got three spicy anivia decks for tonight that we're going to play in master's rank and see how we do so um yeah so it's gonna be anivia so we got gangplank with the first one and we're going to be playing with a bunch of plunder cards and bilge water up next, we're going to be going Control with Ezreal and Funsmith. That'll be our second one. And then finally, we're going to be heading on over to Noxus for a control deck with Katarina. I'm playing Katarina instead of Swain. Uh, yeah, I'm, so we're going to you know bring the spice with that. Um, so not even going with like the normal generic Shadow Isles Anivia deck. I The last couple of times I've played that kind of deck, I haven't done very well. So I want to try some different stuff instead of the Rekindler Anivia um versions so but we'll see how that goes so this first one is going to care about plunder and dealing damage to the enemy nexus for a few things we're gonna have the wolf riders in here that will be able to help us ramp whenever we plunder of course with gangplank we want to level up gangplank by dealing damage to the enemy nexus in five different rounds the ramping with the um, wolf riders and the catalyst of aeons that's important because with anivia to in order to level up Anivia, Anivia has to be enlightened. Now, of course, Anivia also attacks and deals damage to the enemy Nexus, so that helps out that Gangplank. Uh, then we're going to be pairing Anivia with Dreadway. If we have a Dreadway in play, it doubles all damage dealt by your, your skills, spells, and allies. And so that is, this is a skill here, Anivia's attack ability. So if it's late game, we have the Dreadway in play, we have leveled up Anivia, we're attacking, we're not dealing two, we're dealing four, because we double that up thanks to the Dreadway. Even one field to rush the top end to put 10-10 Anivia and 10-10 at Gangplank back into play. So it looks like a pretty fun version here for Anivia. So here we go. We'll, we'll go play our five games in ranked with Gangplank Anivia. We played a bunch of Sejuani decks the other day 
and that was uh, where this idea came from, where people in chat here were like, man, this was cool just seeing different versions of decks with one champion. And so that's what we have. So we're, we're going to have the Champion Spotlight Knight. And today, that's going to be Anivia. Anivia Spotlight Knight. Playing against Lissandra Trundle. We don't need Ice Shard. I could see Mulligan the Tavern Keeper also, honestly. We'll just keep Sentry and Gangplank. Yeah, I've never... Yeah, <laughs> I've never really liked the... Or I, I don't know. I haven't had the best success with the real greedy Anivia um, Shadow Isles decks either. So unfortunately there, with it being the 3-2, I can't parlay and kill this Tavern Keeper. Could have done the Three Sisters Fury of the North there with the plus three, plus four. I'm not sure if that's really worth it though. How about maybe playing this Wolf Rider this turn? I am inevitable. All right, two out of five. Like, is this worth it? Like, I could use two parlays right here and kill the Tavern Keeper, deal one to them, make this three out of five. I don't know. It takes out a blocker. Y'all are saying just parlay Nexus, which I. I don't dislike that either. Maybe good to keep this Gangplank's part, like you know, it is a Gangplank. Storming again here. It was storming all day today. So they are passing. So I could pass and they waste all that mana. But it's like this is not like really that great of a turn for them anyway. Like usually like the turn seven. I don't know. I could maybe pass here. I don't hate it. I'm not sure. That's I'm not sure about that. So I'm doing this parlay, of course, to turn on Wolf Rider. It's also good to get champions out of your hand before Field of Rush anyway. Hate that we drew the champion. Please just take the one from the deck, not the one from the hand. I want to take two from the deck. All right, cool. Took one from the deck. We got lucky. Wow, they did have ruination. All right. Well, 
The good news is I do have two Anivia still. This one's on the house. I will endure. What is this attack about? I don't know what that attack's about. They really like the box. I guess I could have gone for lethal with Fury of the North. But I, I wanted to hold this for um, War and Tomb. So they have to have, there we go, there's Withering Whale. I was going to say they have to have something that deals one damage. Because, so like their plan was to have me block with Anivia. They were going to play the box. To do three damage to kill the Anivia and then to deal one damage. So we knew they had something in hand that was dealing one damage. All right, Anivia's got there. Good job, Anivia. Combat. They definitely had the mana for ruination. Same opponent, I think. I think same opponent. Okay, not same opponent. Okay, never mind. It's the same deck, not same opponent. Corn to chat. Right, I think we're going to keep Field of Rush, right? No, we should probably mulligan them. We do have the attack token on the even turns, which is good for the Wolf Rider. Hey, what's up, Corruption Z? Welcome back. Ten months since last time we played Rune Terra. Well, it's still a great game, and yeah, happy to have you back in here. What will you have? Blood and guts, golden glory. Cool. It's so easy for that 4 1 to die. I'm, I will take it. Trade it with the 3 drop. Parlay in here? No one expects the parlay. I never no one expects the parlay. I've got meat bigger than you. We're not playing Beast Below, it was created by Jull Hunters, which is the card that we are playing. All right, they're down to eight. You can certainly assume that they're going to be playing a, um, you know, like an Avalanche or a Blighter Ravine, something like that. So we'll wait. We're not going to be playing Corsair or Zap Spray Fin yet. Getting planks at four out of five. Pretty good number. They're out there. I'll spot them. It definitely seems like they want me to play more things before playing their their area of effect damage spell. The trolls are going to war. Work, you dogs. Avalanche! 
the avalanche. So Ice Shard right now would put this to two health, but it would it would level up Gangplank. I think I'll go ahead and do it to level up Gangplank. The Dreadway is just is now just too easy to kill. So they want to play Ice Pillar, right? This is kind of making it where they can't play Ice Pillar right right away. I hope they play Ice Pillar. Wow, they just they just not yeah. Oh, powder cake! You can't attack, right? All right. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna have my powder cake challenge the ice pillar. Uh, you're a little immobile for that, I suppose. Hit em all. So I'm hoping to draw three sisters from the Sprayfin. So we can have Entomb for Watcher. Or, you know, whatever else it does. Secrets hidden by Frost. Explosives. All right, so unfortunately, I Looks like I can't stop, can't stop the watcher. Embrace the cold. I will remind the world of so if they do have their combo, they got me. Because they can just challenge the gangplank, so it kills it. So then, therefore, I don't have the um, parlay available anymore. Yep, they have the combo. Okay? Alright, we'll, we'll one and one. I'll take a 500 matchup against that deck. Because that combo is really hard for us to stop, that's for sure. Alright, Lucian is here. I don't really see anything wrong with any of this. We're gonna, we're gonna keep it all. Right, so yeah, so like, if you play Tar- yeah, Targon is the best late game region, for sure. If you play Targon, you can have answers to the Watcher deck. The problem- yeah, so basically the Watcher deck is making it where it's really difficult to play late game decks that aren't Targon because because of how difficult it is to interact with the Watcher. There's just not any other regions that really interact with it that well. In range. Um, yeah, I guess I do want to make this trade right now before Lucian comes in and starts with the level up for Lucian. Keep your distance. Yeah, Matron making it so you have to deal with two Watchers, and then um, also, like, the abilities don't even go on the stack. So, like, you, you can't even, like, deny the ability. It does make it pretty difficult. That combination. You're covered. Well, that's classic. So I'm playing Ruthless Raider here, so I can attack with Ruthless Raider and get overwhelmed damage in. So therefore I can play the Wolf Rider and get the empty mana gem. Because if I play Tavern Keeper, 
right there, even though it costs three mana instead of two. Whenever I attack with Tavern Keeper, it just trades with the Protector and I don't put any damage in. So we have the same number of cards in hand, but they have a Fleet Feather Tracker, same mana, everything like that. So they're just they're just ahead of card because of the Bright Steel Protector. I don't have great answers to the top end of this kind of deck, right? Like, they play the Inspiring Marshal and Scythria, 5 and 6. Right now, with what we've drawn, I don't have a great answer right now. My name will echo through the ages. So that's at 6. Gotta go with the flow. You can't do this. Glorious sacrifice. They're out there. I'll spot them. My shield is yours. Another free kill of the Bright Seal Protector. Think about blocking that thing, the Grizzled Ranger. The spirit of winter awakens. To the streets, show them. I have respect the people in Sharima. Well, they got the top end. I bring the storm. Strike them down. The order is given. Really hoping they don't have any more scouts. We even a card like Cythria, like. Marshall plus Azir is difficult to deal with together. Certainly. Come on. Yeah, Scout is. I think a Scout is not good. None of this is good. I don't know. Can maybe slow them down. They won't get like the free sand soldiers. I think I'm dead, right? Like, aren't I dead? They have six attackers. I can't stop. I guess I can... I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any iteration that I survived this. Leave your tracks at the door. He smells something. Because this thing attacks twice. That's so two attackers, then three, four, five, six... I guess I can have a Nivea block twice. Before they organize. And block with the egg also. We go. I've got meat bigger than you. Rip their flesh. I know, poor Anivia. 
It's supposed to be Anivia's day today, not Anivia gets slaughtered by sand soldiers. Firing Marshall is killing me. Sun's light. We protect these woods as they protect us. Keep up, keep up. Ready, boy. Oh, right, the Desert's Wrath. I was like, isn't this thing supposed to be a 2 1? The Desert's Wrath, right? I'll cut my name into you. Stand down. Welcome to the Tipsy Owl. Hey, Triple C. Sometimes just having only, you know, only parlays, you know, one damage cards, they sometimes just don't. Well, let's see, wait. That thing's three, that thing's three, so if I block everything else, we can survive. I guess. So we go here, 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 here. Wait, no. We have to block this thing. Let's talk about your death. Reel him in! Fish out of water, you dare slack on my ship. Power. Who's the close up? Feel the rush. Come on, feel the rush. No. That would have been nice, feel the rush with like the, um, you know, like a lot of those things having the two health with the, you know, the Anivia plus the powder keg would have dealt uh, three damage, all their stuff would have kind of cleared the board. We would have been fine <laughs> if, if actually if we would have top tech the feel the rush, that would have been a crazy comeback. Okay, Swain said 20, a kind of similar deck. <laughs> yeah, you can put Zoe in any deck and make it make a good Zoe deck. Zoe with anything. We were talking about doing that with Anivia. We were like, well, with Anivia Day, we could we could just play Zoe Anivia and play a bunch of Celestials and then play like Zoe and Avalanche, and you know, like Celestial Control Zoe. So, you know, like that could be a good deck. And, and Chad was like, no, we've we've had enough Targon. <laughs> But yeah, that would, that would definitely be a good Anivia deck. That's probably the best Anivia deck. Is just play Celestials. So that's probably the answer. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably the answer for most every champion. Is how do you, how do you make the best? Especially like pick a champion that doesn't see very much play. All you got to do is uh, put it with Zoe and a bunch of Celestials, and that's the best thing for that champion. Blood of a 
the snow. All right, we're getting some good aggro in here. Flash freeze is definitely what we could have used last game. Oh, I did have the mana. I thought I was one short, but no. If I if I would have played Sprayfin first, because I had one more that I could have tuned, I could have played Sprayfin to tune and then done that. So I need to save three spell mana this turn so I can feel the rush next turn. Just level up this gangplank. Please don't take the champions from my hand. Take them from the deck. Take them from the deck. Yay. So this will level up Gangplank. Of course, next turn Anivia will be leveled up. Yeah, they probably just had a, like a ton of removal, and this this kind of showed the power of having the ramp cards, right? Having Wolf Rider, the Catalyst of Aeons, was perfect for this uh, this game right here. So we could just speed up and be faster than them. Go down to five. Probably don't have that much Nexus healing. Okay, that's gonna do. All right, two and two. We can still get a winning record with our first Anivia deck. The cycle is complete. Yeah, Keg Nivia. GGs. No, back to watch your combo. Ugh, I don't like our chances. All right, we're gonna definitely need Wolf Rider to speed us up. Looking for aggro elements to kind of get paired with the Wolf Rider. Or parlays or, you know, something. Ruthless Raider. Had you the whole time. Ruthless Raider. Never didn't have you. With this raider. So you may be thinking, why didn't I attack? It's basically because of Catalyst of Aeons. I attack, they Catalyst. They stay at 20 anyway, but then they get to be sped up. By not attacking, I go give it to them, and if they want to play Catalyst, then they play Catalyst, and then I hit them for three afterwards. I agree. Ro says, I hope they nerf this deck. It feels so miserable to play against. I kind of agree. That's what... The trolls are going to one side... You know, it's basically just a one-sided combo deck, right? It doesn't matter what you're playing. We feast. And and the thing is, it's it's the lack of counterplay, right? It's so hard to stop the Watcher. If there was, like, more, like, regular cards that people can play that can, you know, realistically be counterplay, then it would, wouldn't be so bad. But it's just the, the real lack of options to try to stop them. And it's really playing against it is just, you know, what kind of hand do you have by like turn eight, turn nine? You know, like that's <laughs> that's basically just the question. Do you have something? Um, do you have something that's great? And if so, then all right, good game. You you beat me. 
Maybe we draw a parlay. Light the signal fire. Need one uh, need one more mana for that ice shard. The ocean herself will fear us. No. Vengeance the right thing. So that does four to everything. I'm, ho I'm hoping they don't have any one mana card. If they don't have a one mana card, I can kill them. I, was, I put the Gangplank out here to try to test them into... Uh, vengeancing the gangplank because I was going to use the troll chant and I was going to reduce the Everyone reduce the power of the trundle to two so the um, dreadway was unblockable. This land is ours. All right, that'll do though. Still got him. Good job, dreadway. The will sing our tale this eve. We had some good ramp. And got to Dreadway on turn six. And killed him on turn seven. You call it, Kordek. Winning record. All right. So our um, champion spotlight night, the inaugural deck that we played, Gangplank and Nivea, with a winning record here, three and two. We will take it for sure. We got two more sweet Anivia decks that we are also going to try to get that three, two or better with. Uh, but I liked our list. I really liked Wolf Rider. Wolf Rider plus Parlay really performed well, so the catalyst, you know, getting us to that top end, helping us level up our Anivia faster, getting us to, like, Dreadway, Gangplank, that kind of stuff. Um, but it works really well. Like, like uh, Corsair, Ruthless Raider were good um, early stuff, like, early aggressive stuff. You had the Sprayfin that was in there finding, like, Three Sisters and Parlay for us. Um, even Ishard did some cool stuff, like we saw that last game, deal four to their Nexus, four to their, their Trundle finish their trundle off with the parlay, and finish them off with the attack. All right, so there we go. Gangplank and Nivea. Uh, first first deck, a success. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of this new format for Wednesday nights, our champion spotlight night. Um, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, next week we probably won't do this again because next week we're going to have the brand new expansion that's going to be released on Wednesday, so we'll be doing that. But then after that, we'll we'll get back to it with um, how we do our three decks here on Wednesday nights um, instead of like our normal four. It's kind of the perfect, uh, perfect spot. And, you know, of course, we get to rhyme that with the spotlight night. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's our first one with Anivia. Uh, again... Those on YouTube also leave the, uh, yeah, I guess I already said to leave those comments about how, how much you like it and <laughs> that kind of stuff. Anyway, all right, that's it here for Gangplank and Nivea. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.